of Megger Spy 225 testing a Hubble, mic uh, Hubble Versa trip recloser. You can see uh, the Spy is connected to the Hubble with two foot cables. You can use longer cables, but then your uh, maximum output of the Spy will be somewhat reduced uh, the longer the cables you have. You, you've used up to 10 foot. Um, the Spy is capable of 2000 amps max, and we can, we can get the 2000 with these short cables uh, as shown here. If you don't need 2000 and you want to use longer cables, uh, you can, but you do need good voltage connections. Any resistance on the output uh, reduces the capability. Let's show the settings of the recloser. Uh, the minimum trip of the recloser is 100 amps. You can see it's set four operations to lockout. Uh, has two, the first two curves are very long. They're ANSI, extremely inverse, uh, with the time multiplier 12. So those are two pretty long curves with one second recloses after them. Uh, then we have a very short curve with a 0.25 second reclose uh, and then another very short curve. So let's get the SPY software up. Um, when you log into the SPY, you'll come up with a screen like this. We're going to do the recloser testing. First thing you have to do is determine what current you want to put on the uh, recloser for the fault condition. Since it was set at 100, I want to put 300 uh, amps for my fault. So first thing we have to do is find what that current is. If you think of it like a wheel, you know, from zero to 100, uh, if you apply a small amount, like 10% of the wheel, uh, slightly turn, you'll see that's like 10 amps. So let's, let's go up to 15%, uh, that's 77, let's go 20. That's a little bit over. Let's go to 19. That's still a little bit over. And let's go 18, five. And then, so the first time you have to kind of uh, determine what your, where your output needs to be to get the current you want. Uh, but you'll find if you test the same reclosers over and over at the same settings, it's pretty much become standard. We're going to go 18.5 if we want 300 amps uh, all the time. So I'm going to save that as the fault. I uh, also want to do a little pre-fault to help charge the uh, electronics in the in the uh, SPY. So 12% is 25 amps. I, I like that number. I'm going to use that as my pre-fault. I'm going to switch from this pulse mode that helps us find the current to the test mode. So I'm going to put a pre-fault on of the 12%. I'm going to do it for 20 seconds and I'm going to switch over to the fault and I'm going to do that for 35 seconds and you'll see why later. Uh, so let's go ahead and then run that. So it's going to put out 25 amps of the 12% for the 20 seconds. You can see the timer counting down. And once the 20 seconds are up, it'll switch to the 18.5%, which we know is uh, or 300 amps. So now I just switched over. Uh, once again, these are pretty long curves on the first one. It's timing out right now. Uh, we should see a trip. There goes the trip. And a reclose right away. One second. Another timing event right now going on. Second trip. Then, then the third and fourth uh, times were very quick and the unit has locked out. I need to let my uh, fault timer quit. I'd pick 35 seconds. I need to let it go through the whole cycle. Uh, and then now we can see our first trip was 9.4, reclose right under a second, 9.7 right at a second, uh, and so on. So you can see each of the times, each of the, of the uh, reclose times. And that is how you test a Versa trip with a uh, SPY 225.